Hello everyone, welcome to this video series on database management system. So in this video, we are going to see how to find whether a decomposition is dependency preserving or not. So for this, we have already discussed two concepts. One is equivalence of FDs, FD sets and another one is minimal cover. So if you didn't watch, watch them. The link to playlist is given in the description below the video, right? And come back to this video. Uh, okay. Now, what is um, the process for finding whether decomposition is dependency preserving or not? Okay. So here we have a big table with four attributes A, B, C, D, and we are having these FDs on the big table. So there are four FDs here, and this big table is divided into three sub tables or small tables r1 r2 and r3 okay and in r1 the attributes are ab in r2 bc and in r3 bd right now they are asking us to find whether this decomposition is dependency preserving or not okay now let's see the procedure so first take the small table r1 and find all non-trivial dependencies okay take the uh, take one of the tables and find all non-trivial dependencies so first i am considering this one and the non-trivial dependencies are a to b and b to a because there are only two attributes we have a to b and b to a now we should decide whether to include these fds in our set or not how to decide means for each FD take the left hand side and calculate calculate its closure by using these FDs. So if you take A plus, first of all you will get A, from A you get B, from B you get C and from C you get D. So we are getting A, B, C, D. Now since RHS is present in the closure, we can include this, this is fine. Similarly you take the second, calculate the closure of LHS which is B. So for B, you should include itself B, from B you are getting C, from C you are getting D and again from D you are getting B which is already there and that's all, we are getting B, C, D. Now this RHS is not there, the closure, yes, A is not there in this. So this FT, we should not consider it, okay, so we should consider only this, right. Fine. Now similarly, say take the second table R2 which is having BC and non-trivial dependencies are B2C and C2B. Similarly, like in the previous step, calculate the closure. If RHS is there in the LHS closure, you should include them. This is okay and this is also fine. So from this table, we are getting two FDs, B2C and C2B. Similarly, take the third table Again, non-trivial dependencies B to D and D to B. Again, to consider them or not, calculate the closure. And if the RHS is there in the closure, consider them. So this is fine and this is fine. Okay. So that's all. We have three tables and we calculated non-trivial dependencies. So how many did we get? So we got A to B. Okay. We got B to C, C to B. And also we got B to D and D to B. Total, we got five FDs. Okay. So these are the five FDs we got. Uh, we performed the union of all the FDs that we got from R1, R2, and R3. Sorry, this is R3. So these are the FDs we got. Five FDs, just just like I have shown you now. Okay. Now we have to find whether this set F dash covers F or not. That is, we are finding whether these two are equivalent or not. That That's why I, I told you the concept of equivalence of FDs. Okay, this is where it is useful. Now we should find whether F dash covers F or not. So how to calculate this? You see the previous videos, I have already taught them. So link is below to the playlist, fine. 
so when you calculate that we will get the result that this f dash covers this set okay so that's why we can say that decomposition of r into r1 r2 and r3 is dependency preserving okay so this is the process <clears throat> so let me explain again in a few seconds take each table calculate non trivial dependencies okay and finally perform the union of those and find whether that set covers the original set of f days or not that's all simple if it covers we can say that the decomposition is dependency preserving otherwise it is not dependency preserving okay so this is another example so this is like an exercise for you so the given uh, table is this and it is divided into r1 and r2 and these are the fds and you find out whether this decomposition is uh, decomposition is dependency preserving or not okay so actually when you do the process you will get the answer no find out okay uh, for this the non trivial dependencies are a to d and d to a because we are having two attributes this is simple but here we are having three attributes okay three attributes now what should we do here you will get uh, many fds right like b to c d and c to b d right and d to d to b c you will get these fds and also uh, you will get b c to d okay c d to b and also b d to c now you have to calculate the closure for all the left hand side of these fds and you have to find out whether we can include these things in the set or not so do it yourself this is an exercise for you so that's it this is how you find whether the decomposition is dependency preserving or not so please like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for latest notifications and if you have any doubt in this you can comment below the video i will respond thank you